To buy cheap and reliable FIFA coins, go to fifacoinsbuy.com. Use code TOM for an 8% bonus. What is going on guys? I'm Tom LFC7 and welcome to a brand new World Cup Ultimate Team episode. And guys, if you want to see more episodes in this series, make sure to smash the like button. The previous episode, for some reason, didn't get a lot of likes. I don't really know why. Let me know how should I and could I improve the series even more. And the loads of you guys commented that I should build an African team uh, and try to win the World Cup with them. And if I fail with the African team... You guys want uh, me to use the European team again, the European squad, and try to win the World Cup with that. So let's see who do we get in the first pack. Um, mm, nobody amazing. So let's open five packs before we uh, progress with the with the World Cup group group stage. So let's see who do we get in the packs. Oh, Harry Kewell, a former Liverpool player. That's interesting. And David Villa. Yes. That's a great pool. The I, we, with the African team, I'm not sure how I will do with them. But you know, that's the challenge in this series. I will try um, and build many, many different teams, and uh, you can earn a lot of coins uh, during the game. So I'm looking forward to playing this a lot uh, in the coming weeks and months during the World Cup. And uh, guys, your support is truly appreciated. Uh, let's see. Oh, we get a great European goalkeeper, which is really, really impressive. But we don't get many African players. Uh, and this will be our last pack. So I will try and build a brilliant African team. Um, but I'm not sure, uh, because um, we don't get a lot of African players. Oh, we got Shona Aluko. Oh, finally, maybe EA hurt me. So let's try and build the African team now. So this is the team, the best African team that I could come up with. The only downfall is that our defense is a silver defense. Our goalkeeper is very short, 5 foot 11, and we don't have a left midfielder or left winger. So let's run through the team. So we have a pretty decent right back. Our, our goalkeeper is not that bad, but I, I'm worried that he's quite short. Our right back is pretty decent, and the center backs... Um, silver center backs and a silver left back, so nobody amazing. And the CDM is pretty decent, but our attacking players, and that's why I went with this formation. Our attacking players are pretty, pretty good. The right midfielder has a decent pace. I put Asu Ekoto on the left midfield uh, position because he's not great attacking. He has pretty decent passing and pace, and uh, I'm I'm uh, looking forward to using this guy. Kevin Prince Boateng, he has been a, such an amazing player for me. And also, we have a great strike partnership. Kone and Aluko, they both have a pace and, a, and a skills to pay the bills, hopefully. Kone is the only four-star skiller in the team. So, let's find out his team. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? He has Ronaldo. He has Cristiano Ronaldo in the team in the first game. We are coming up against this team, oh no, and he has Benteke up front. If I manage to get even a point in this game, that would be a great result. Let's see how it goes. Come on. This is it. No! Kone, come on! Oh god, it's 1-0. I missed the one-on-one -on -one and he punishes me straight away. Oh my goodness, Ronaldo almost made it too. Please, please! Yes! Yes! We are back in it! And it's Adoma! <laughs> I don't even know. Is he the right midfielder? I think he is. It's Adoma! And if we make it 1 1 against this team, 
who has Ronaldo and Sirigu and players like that. Come on guys, we can do this. Come on Aluko. Must be! Yes! It's 2-1! Come on! We are leading! It's a sweaty goal! But I don't care! Against this amazing team, we are leading 2-1, guys! No! Yes! Yes, goalkeeper! Oh no! Don't give the ball to... Come on! Oh, here we go! Come on, go to... Go on! Go on! Yes! It's free! Oh, come on, guys! This is incredible! I can't believe it! This is incredible! We are winning against the team! No, oh, of course Ronaldo scores in the 90th minute! Quite a brilliant goal, to be honest! I really hope that I can hold on. It's an, it's the 90th minute. Lovely, lovely skill and a great great goal into the top corner. Yes! Oh my God! We have done it! We have beaten my the most amazing team that I have come up with against on this World Cup game. This is incredible, and we have beaten them 3-2. What a game! What a performance! And the guy was a brilliant player as well. And we had so many chances to score more goals. We had 10 shots on target. We really, really should have made it more comfortable. So this is the team that we are coming up against. No way. Oh my god. Look at those players, man. Yaya Toure, Aguero, David Luiz, Schweinsteiger, Pepe Reina, Draxler, Podolski. No. Ah, oh, this is inevitable. Our defenders can't defend headers to save their lives. Yaya Toure. Come on, please, go in! Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, instant reply! Oh my goodness! Pepe Reina came out of his goal, he called out his goalie. And we scored! I think it's Aluko, Shona Aluko, who scores a delightful chipped goal. Wait, what? How was it not offside? I did the offside trap. How is he not offside? I'm, I'm so done. Oh, God damn it. I just can't live with Aguero. It's 3 1. Game over. Come on! Come on! Yes, it's 3 2! Come on, get the goal back! We have a chance! It's Kevin Prince Boateng! After a lovely pass! He misses the. Well, it's blocked the first chance, but the second one is a goal. It Come on! No, mate! Come on! Come on! Shoot! Why? Oh no! We lost, but we lost to another amazing team. <laughs> it couldn't happen, the miracle twice in a row. But we had some chances. I, I'm really annoyed. We had some chances. We really should have got maybe a draw. But to be honest, the guy was a really good player. But in the last like 30 minutes, I dominated him. Look at the match stats. Again, I had more sh chances than him. Oh, damn. Unlucky. Unlucky loss. So anyway, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot to open a pack after the first win. So I will do, I will, uh, do that right now. And let's see if we can get uh, an amazing player. And we also get to open uh, two uh, match packs. So let's see if we can get uh, anybody really good. No, that's not an upgrade on the current uh, players that I have. 
Um, so guys, uh, let me know uh, in the next uh, World Cup challenge, should I do the um, CONCACAF team or you want a uh, European MESBA? Oh damn, really bad center back. I guess South Af African teams don't have a really good center back. So let's open our bonus pack that we get for winning the first game in the group. And uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to the last game. It's it's uh, win or bust. If we win, we go through. If we get a draw, we go out. And uh, we get quite a few awesome players for our European side. But nobody really amazing uh, for our um, for our African side. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. That was it for this episode of the World Cup Ultimate Team Series. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, let's take a look at the group stage standings before we end the episode. So this is how the group looks like. And uh, we basically we must win our last game. No question about it. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye. England against Germany. Here we go. Let's see how the gameplay looks like. And make sure to smash the like button if you are excited for this new 